Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zufit TV. Um, today uh, I'm going to vlog about uh, the unboxing of some of this shipment that came in the other day as well as uh, probably give you some update on um, the progress of all the renovation. Uh, so basically um, there's another shipment that's coming in next week as well and um, those contain all the second grade used equipment from Maleco that my, my customers uh, have ordered and uh, you know yesterday uh, we've completed that big project uh, that you that you probably have seen um, uh, now today is is time to unload and unpack all of this stuff and then make sure that we sort them out and then uh, start contacting all the customers to either you know drop by and collect their equipment or if they need me to send them out then I have to arrange for all that as well so uh, as you can see behind me right here so let me just turn the camera around we've got one two three and then four one big one five six and then seven and one at the back um, so all in all uh, it's quite a lot of equipment and I believe one of them has the um, half rack, or if I'm not mistaken, or is it the power rack? So I have to open up uh, every single one of them. Uh, hopefully, I think I should be done in a couple of days. So because today is a Friday, and um, in between 12:30 and 2:30, uh, I have to go to the uh, mosque to to uh, do my Friday prayers. But I'll try to do as much as I can because you know it's just just not. Again, it's not a, a matter of just unpacking and then sorting it up. Uh, we need to move things around and make sure that um, we clear the floor as soon as possible and then making sure that, you know, I don't mix up the orders of uh, one customer's order with another customer's order. Uh, so, it's a lot of work. I'm, I'm still tired from that, that project that we just completed, but it has to be done. Uh, you know, hopefully in the future I get to hire someone to do all this for me. But in, in, uh, for the time being, um, it's just me and I have to keep hustling. So I've cleared two pallets. Um, one of them, uh, as you can see, uh, right at the back there. Um, so I've separated out the ones for my own stock, for the showroom, as well as for customers. So the customers, um, equipment is right here and once again let me just point out that this is what I have to do you know so I arrange them and I have to put it on the storage rack so that I can clear this space right here right because there is a possibility a very small possibility that the next shipment is going to come tomorrow or at least Monday so definitely I have to clear all this out before that comes because that also contains about at least five, six uh, pallets, boxes. And um, once, if this particular warehouse area is full, then I'm in, in, in deep trouble because number one, because we have the rich truck here, so that takes up a lot of space. So the, the, the only space that I have is probably another quarter of uh, what you see right here of, of the total warehouse space, maybe something somewhere there. So if I can clear up all those things, and especially with the, um, the, uh, all these big crates, there's only one place that I can put them. Two, maybe one, yeah, maybe one. Because this one is a short one. This one is a 235 um, cm. The only place is down there, but that's already occupied. And we can also put them up here, but as you can see, it's also occupied. And then we have those on top. Um, but the problem is that because the renovation is taking so long, the, the, the one at the third level that you just saw is actually equipment that is supposed to go upstairs on the, on the uh, first floor in, in the showroom. But because, because the project keeps delaying, um, then I've got no other options. In order for me to put this big 200, uh, sorry, 318 uh, uh, cm crates, I need this particular board right here so that then you can set them on top of the board. Okay, so these are the challenges that I'm facing right now. 
Um, I'm sure that once the renovation is done and we start bringing up all the equipment for the showroom, um, then we will we'll probably have more space to, to play with. It's uh, almost Friday prayer now, so I'm leaving for my, front, uh, for my prayers and I'll be back uh, after that at about 2.30 p.m. to continue my work. Okay, folks, uh, I came back from Friday prayers and I've already unboxed um, two pallets. So here they are. So I actually split the 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 uh, the stuff inside um, the pallets. So some of them are over here, like um, that's the weightlifting training plate rack and also the adjustable bench. And if you can, let me see where did I put it. Uh, oh, here, here we go. You can see here, we've got the adjustable rig handles. So I bought this particular one for my own Prestera half rack. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have um, basically um, all the attachments that you can get. Well, at least almost all attachments that you can get uh, for the Prestera half rack, just to show people that what you can do with, with the whole uh, ecosystem, right? Uh, in any case, the, um, there's two boxes right here. They are the uh, open deadlift bar, the, the black colored one. So those are new. Sometimes when you open this up, you have to be careful of the splinters. I can't tell you how many times I've got myself, my fingers splintered. So this is how I would normally do it when I open something this big up by myself. Use gravity. Okay, so from what I can tell, you have the power rack. You can see there, it's, that's obvious, that's the power rack. Uh, that's actually a, I believe it's a used unit. Um, and it comes in red and black. And then we have the squat stand, and then we have a platform underneath this, the light rack platform, which is going to Singapore. Anyways, I have to unload this because they belong to two different customers. Apparently, I was mistaken earlier. This particular crate is actually, actually contains the half XF80, XF80 half rack and its insert platform but it's going to a, a Singapore customer, so that's the only part that I got right. So what I'm going to do now is just to check all the parts uh, to make sure that everything is there. Uh, the good thing about this having been packed in one particular crate makes it easier for me to uh, send it over because uh, usually um, all of my orders are mixed and when it's mixed, sometimes uh, uh, another customer's order will be inside um, the same crate as another, other, as another customer's. So when that happens, I have to take them out, repack, and, and then uh, ship them out. So in this particular case, all I need to do is to make sure that everything that this guy ordered um, is, is, is inside this particular crate. And then we can just store it somewhere before, uh, as we wait for the transporters to pick them up. Okay, I just opened up the second big crate and uh, she ordered a t-shirt. Uh, Yep, triple XL. This is the uh, old one. I love this T-shirt. This is actually a very nice, very um, comfortable T-shirt. So they don't sell this anymore. But I got, I think, two of those for myself. So, yep. And then uh, I bought another one of these um, Aleco T-shirts as well. I love this though. This is also very comfortable and they don't shrink. And another one that I got, check it, check it out. This is the Elico powerlifting. Uh, it's actually para powerlifting <laughs> T-shirt from 2018. So they have it uh, in my size, so I just took it. Okay, guys, uh, I just unboxed the last crate. Uh, you can check it out behind me there. And uh, now it's 7:20 p.m. So I'm. I'm really, really tired, especially after the last three days uh, of uh, doing installation. 
now today with all this uh, unpacking and sorting out of the uh, equipment. So I won't be done by today as expected. I might be coming over uh, again probably this weekend just to uh, separate out the barbells. And uh, just for your information, that particular crate itself has about 21 bars uh, of different types uh, of different mix uh, like used, new, second grade, blah, blah, blah. As you know, minimum weight for the bar is 15 kg and most of them are 20 kg. So just do the math. It's a lot of weight to be carrying at the end of the day. So I'll come back fresh, move and sort them out. But I'm not going to do it today. So I think it's already uh, Margaret prayers, dusk prayers. So I'm just going to pray first before leaving. Uh, before that, let me just show you the bars. 21 bars in that particular crate. All right, so I'm going to end the particular episode here. Um, so thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs, thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing to us and uh, turn on the notifications so that you'll be informed of uh, any new videos that we put out. Okay, so uh, that's it for me. Uh, have a good weekend, everyone. And I'll see you again in the next ZFIT TV episode. Bye.